Uh, as I uh, reported before, at approximately uh, 3.39, quarter of four this morning, the Edible Police Department received a uh, 911 call for a shot fired on Jackson Street. Uh, subsequently, the officers responded, um, discovered a, uh, a male had been shot in the uh, Porto area. Uh, subsequently, he was transported to uh, Rhode Island Hospital, uh, where he went uh, under uh, emergency surgery. He uh, has um, been uh, through surgery. Uh, out of surgery, he's recovering now, and uh, what the, uh, the doctors have stated that uh, he is going to uh, survive from his uh, injury at this point, but uh, such a real basis at this time. I am happy to report that we have uh, one suspect in custody. Uh, the SWAT team uh, made entry into the home, searched the home, found the suspect. He is in custody at the uh, Attleboro Police Department. Uh, the, uh, the charges are pending, the investigation is still underway, and uh, as, as you know, these things take time to find out and sort out exactly what happened. Do you know who he is? We, we do know who he is. Okay. His name right now, uh, he may be transported to court uh, later on today, if not early tomorrow morning. Is he unharmed? That uh, is uh, still to be determined right now. Um, uh, we did take him in custody. He, uh, he did not uh, submit willingly. We had to uh, force him to take him in custody. Uh, so we didn't shoot him. It was a uh, canine dog involved. Were any shots fired? We're not sure what the murder was at the time of the investigation. Do you know more about the relationship between the two? That is uh, still going to be sorted out through this investigation. Else? There is uh, no other suspect at this time. We are still interviewing witnesses that were on scene at the time of the shooting. So um, at some point in the future, we'll have uh, more information that we can release to the, to the media to exactly uh, what happened. And, uh, hopefully understand what the was the was there a woman inside? No, there was a uh, small child and a woman inside the home. Uh, I'm sure if they would... Um, Willingly come out or be holding that day. Uh, watching uh, and myself decided to take a very uh, small methodical approach to this uh, to uh, make sure that That was all part of the coordinated effort with the uh, Metro Lake SWAT team who did an absolute fabulous job. Uh, the Metro Lake SWAT team composed uh, of many uh, cities and towns, county agencies, uh, the consortium, uh, the SWAT team, and they came down and responded. They did a marvelous job. Part of that, uh, part of that uh, effort was uh, locating the suspect in the house, getting involved robots and cameras. And the dog was involved in bringing the suspect into custody, and uh, I don't have the exact details. Uh, I wanted to get this information up to you so you could uh, put it out over the air to uh, our residents who have been very cooperative with this shelter in place and uh, the uh, area of containment. So we are going to lift the area of containment and the shelter in place, open up the schools as normal. But uh, I do want to thank the cooperation from the uh, residents uh, who had to uh, experience the uh, uh, overwhelming uh, police presence and bringing the suspect in the custody. It's a little after 11 now. What time did this come to an end? How long did it uh, uh, Approximately six minutes ago. That's it. Okay. I wanted to get this information out to our residents forthwith. What kind of charges did you do uh, Obviously, a strong battery, uh, dangerous weapon, uh, and, uh, depending on uh, the victim's status and the other child's status. I have to uh, speak to the uh, district attorney, Sam Sutter, involved in this case and find out what other charges. Uh, uh, thank you for your cooperation. Can you spell your name, Chief?